Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada, as our 125 main event is winding down. And what a crazy race it has been thus far. The most important thing, we hope that James Stewart is all right and the rest of the riders who have gone down. But, David, the pressure is certainly on these sold-out stadiums. Everyone wants to win this East-West shootout. And Andrew Short has got an amazing opportunity to win the biggest race of his career. A 10-second lead over Ivan Tedesco, who is on fire right now. He is, he is pulling this pack behind him of Michael Byrne and Josh Hansen, who's riding the best race of his career right now. All these guys really stepping up in the absence of James Stewart, who just makes these guys invisible most of the time. But with him out, not out there, these guys are really shining. Andrew Short, number 41 on the Suzuki RM125 Team Motorworld.com Suzuki out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Only 20 years of age, a third year pro racing motorcycles since the age of five. His best result this year, second place in Anaheim, number two. He's got one third and four fourths. So he's relatively been consistent, always getting in the top five. But tonight, Andrew Short has really shined. You know, I saw him at the practice track on Thursday. And I thought, man, he sure is going fast, you know? And, and obviously, he is just ramped up for this race. He was ready, prepared. The intensity was there. His speed was there. He got the start he needed. People were making mistakes around him. And you look at the speed of James Stewart, and you realize, well, on his slick track, the way things are getting, how hard it is to time things in the wind, you know, you got to be a little bit careful. And Andrew Short played his cards right. He's got a chance to pick up the biggest win ever. I don't think he can believe it right now. He's looking at the mechanics like, am I really in the lead? Do I really have 10 seconds over second place? Because he seems to be just in cruise control right now. We're not seeing any sheer speed out of him, but he seems to be holding his gap over Tedesco, which is a big, he could afford to lose half the lead that he's got over second place Ivan Tedesco, and he'd still be comfortable going into the final laps. I don't think, I think he's going to be at a loss for, well, he hasn't been on the podium that many times. He's going to be, <laughs> he'll be so ecstatic. I don't know if we're going to get that much out of him. What a run. The Moto World Suzuki team enjoying a big win as they head into the outdoor national season, which starts next week. This will be a huge boost for that team and for Andrew. Well, bringing your confidence and getting some motivation and carrying the momentum that these guys are carrying right now is amazing. Andrew Short, number 41, is your leader. Ivan Tedesco, number 52, is in second place. But as the champ pointed out, number 41 is on cruise control. After all we've seen tonight, Andrew Short, give him credit, he has kept his composure, not been frazzled, and the Suzuki rider is having the ride of his life tonight. And I thought Tedesco had a little bit more speed than Andrew. Tedesco back there in second place. There he is, tripling his way into a corner. He's been doing that every lap, making up a lot of time. And he, he's, he just looks a little bit more aggressive in and out of the corners than Andrew does, but I'm just surprised that he's not able to, to shrink that gap at all. Ivan Tedesco currently sitting in second place. As we said, number 52 on the Yamaha YZ125. 21 years of age, originally from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Not a big kid at 5'8", 145, but he knows how to ride. If you take a look at our leader one more time, that's number 41, Andrew Short. And the white flag is out. He gives a bit of an arm pump to the boys from Suzuki. And Andrew Short, if he keeps it together, will pick up the win here in Las Vegas. Man, he is so excited. Little fist pump, thumbs up to his mechanic, his whole team. <laughs> He's a neat kid. I'm so happy to see him get this. I, uh, once again, I want to say how concerned I am for James Stewart and how horrible that was, but hopefully he'll be okay. That kid's so resilient, he can bounce back. But right now, the night belongs to Andrew Short. Just one more time through that whoop section, which seems to have gotten the better of quite a few riders tonight, but I don't think it's going to bother Andrew here. This is Everything is going his way right now. Andrew Short, number 41, an amazing turn of events, and he has parlayed it into a possible victory here in Las Vegas, and he has picked a great time. The folks from Suzuki have got to be thrilled with this young man. One more right turn, and your winner in the 125 East-West shootout, Andrew Short. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy for him. Man, I've watched him. 
Look at that. Yeah, these guys, are, they got a lot to celebrate here tonight. I've watched him come up, and you know, it just he's just been inching his way up a little bit more, a little bit more. Number 93, Josh Hansen, also a great ride for him going over there. Well, there's the helmet cam. <laughs> Say, way to go, man. They're all happy for Andrew. It's a great ride for Josh as well. When ESPN's coverage of the 125 East-West shootout continues, we'll be back with official results, and we'll speak with our